Newspapers in Europe, the U.S., and the Middle East put on their Thursday front pages horrifying images of the body of a three-year-old Syrian boy that had washed up on the beach. The child's name was Aylan, and he drowned off the Turkish coast. He was on a boat with his family and other refugees that capsized while trying to get to Greece. What is Aylan Kurdi's story? Aylan has been identified by Turkish activists as a Syrian Kurd from the town of Kobani. His family was apparently trying to escape the heavy fighting between Islamic State and Syrian Kurdish forces. Aylan died on the same boat as his mother and five-year-old brother. His father was found semi-conscious and rushed to a Turkish hospital. He described for reporters what happened. We went into the sea for four minutes, he says, and then the captain saw that the waves are so high, so he steered the boat and we were hit immediately. He panicked and dived into the sea and fled. I took over and started steering. The waves were so high and the boat flipped. I took my wife and my kids in my arms and I realized they were all dead. Prior to this, according to relatives, the family had been trying to emigrate to Canada, but their refugee application was denied, so they tried to get to Greece. Now, Mr. Kurdi says he plans to take the bodies back to Kobani for burial. Canada on Thursday offered him a path to citizenship, but Mr. Kurdi says he no longer wishes to go either there or Europe. His wife told me on the phone a week ago. I'm so scared of the water. I don't know how to swim if something happened. The photos of Ilan have already become a symbol, representing the desperation of Syria's estimated 4 million refugees. This year alone, some 2,500 people from Syria and other Middle Eastern countries have died, most of them in the Mediterranean, trying to get to Europe. It also represents the humanitarian crisis facing Europe as it struggles to form a coherent policy on refugees and asylum seekers from Syria and other countries.